Tonight's subject is he is dreaming now. The Bible begins as far as man is concerned. And the Lord God caused the great deep sleep to fall upon man. And he slept. And then the Lord God formed the woman out of man. And then he told man that he must leave everything and cleave to his wife until they become one, one body, one spirit, just one. That is the beginning of our story. In Lewis Carroll's book, Alice Through the Looking Glass, all these great writers take the same theme. All the great poets, they do it. And here we find this one little, well, a little dialogue. Come and look at it. The brothers cried. And they each took one hand of Alice and led her up to where the king was sleeping. He is dreaming now, said Tweedledee. And what do you think he is dreaming about? Alice said, no one can get that. Why about you, said Tweedledee. Triumphantly. And if he left off dreaming about you, where do you suppose you would be? Where would you be when you are the creation of the king who is dreaming? If he dared to leave off dreaming about you until he completed his purpose. For the Lord God has sworn, as I have planned, so shall it be. And as I have purposed, so shall it stand. And my will will not turn back until I have executed and accomplished the intents of my mind in the latter days you will understand it clearly. What is his purpose? He has made known unto us the mystery of his will according to his purpose which he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time. So what is this plan? What is this purpose? His plan, he is so in love with his creation that exists only for him and not for itself. Like an author, the play and all the characters, they exist only for the author. They have no existence outside of the author. But he so loves his creation. He wants the creation to exist for itself. And there is only one way that it can exist for itself. For now it only is an animated body, the whole vast creation. And he desires that it cease to be the poem existing only for himself, but to exist for itself. And there's only one day and one way that he can do it. He can do it only by dying and becoming his poem. Only as he dies and becomes you, will you live for yourself. So unless I die, said he, thou canst not live. But if I die, I shall arise again, and thou with me. So God dies. Actually dies and becomes his poem. He becomes you. 
And now you must dream the dream of death as he dreams it. The poets speak of it as the dream of life. I rather go with Blake and say by emanation yet my wife till the sleep of death is over. Shelley calls it the dream of life. He has awakened from the dream of life. Tis we who lost in stormy vision keep with phantoms an unprofitable sight. But I will go with Blake. They're all great, but this is the dream of death. For everything comes into being, it appears, it waxes, it wanes, and it vanishes. When the dream is over, man individually will awake. And when he awakes, he is the dreamer that is God the Creator.